I'm Timmy Ricard, and I'm here with the boys from Helm, and you're watching Metal Delay. Delay. Alright, Lucas, you spent parts of 2008 writing, and you released your first album, Keel Hall, early 2009. Who helped you with that, and how did you get such a great sound? Uh, oh, well, the song sort of started being written around about the end of 2007 into 2008. Um, yeah, me and Maddie had a bit of a jam together. We'd known each other for about 10 years or so, and um, got in the studio and started stuffing around some stuff and had a few good ideas and got excited and got a few other clowns in the band. Yeah, excellent. Family loose till we are. And then, um, <laughs> and yeah, we sort of started. Uh, well, I know within about six months between the four of us, we um, we sort of put together the full length of the album. Like um, I'd just been writing the songs as we we're going and went into the band room and, and seen how they came about. Um, we sort of uh, did a bit of research and locally, and one of my mate, old Forrest Savile, who's a well-known engineer in Australia and stuff, is an old friend from my last band. Okay. Haven't done a bit of work with him before. I sort of rang him up and asked him about doing the album and he was booked in to do it and he had the Carnival project at the same time and it sort of clashed with the times that we wanted to get it done and, and what he had booked already. So um, he put me on to Matty Barton from Loose Stone Studios on the Gold Coast and um, I went out a bit of a meeting with him and sussed out a few things and it was really cool so I went to see him and yeah, did the album with him. Um, got it mastered with, by Dave Neal in Brisbane here at Modern, Modern, uh, Modern Mastery. Excellent. And, yeah, so He's got a great sound on that album, so, so good, good work to the boys. Yeah, he does a good job, man. Yeah. Alright, you guys are here tonight promoting a new album, The Winter March. How has it evolved from your first album, and what's been the response? Um, the response so far has been great. Um, Kill Hall sort of got all the right reviews at the right time and stuff, and, and has, has been pretty well liked, considering you know the, the smaller profile we've been at that stage. The new album... Um, it's probably a little bit more of a melodic kind of evolution from the first one, I guess. Still the same band, we still do the same things. I, I, I sort of tried. The first album is very dark, and we have a generally dark sound anyway. The second album is pretty dark as well, but it's not as, um, I don't know, it's a little colourful as well. It's got, it's got a bit more, a bit more scope to do different things in it. It's not the same, it's not the same album. So I suppose a bit more melodic. Yeah, a bit more well thought out. I think it's a little bit more mature than the first one and, and has a bit more of knowing like, as far as being a band goes in it. You know, yeah. like we, we sort of feel a bit more comfortable on it. But everyone's going to have different opinions. Some people love the first one more. Yeah. Some people love the second one more. Just, you know, depends on... I don't want to release the same album every time. I'm yeah. sure they're the same band, but a bit of a different sound, a bit of a different feel. But. Yeah, and, and um, who was um, who produced the album? And uh, who was who was who mastered it? Well, we tracked it at Loose Stones again with Matty Barton. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then Forrester was available for this to mix it, so yeah, okay. um, And then he mastered it as well. We were going to get it mastered in Brisbane, um, but yeah, Forrester sort of said, yeah, I'll well, we'll do it. You know, we'll do it down here. Yeah, he must have liked it. That's good. Yeah, he's a tough man to get these days, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Right band, I suppose. He's got to treat him the right way. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Alright, you've got a new member for your band, guys. Uh, please introduce him. And how does this guy fit in? <laughs> Uh, new member like of the band is Dario Lagana. Bolognese. I don't want to know as Bolognese. Oh, Cinque, number five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy. Uh, Excellent. Um, he fits in quite well. <laughs> <from Italian. laughs> yeah, but no, nah, he's made ground, eh? He's proved himself and he's well on the way. <laughs> he plays guitars and uh, he does some good backup vocals, I hear. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Trying to play the drums, Aiden. Trying to diversify. And how do you feel about being in a new band, mate? Mistake? It's a breath of fresh air yeah. for me. Um, it's a little bit different from previous projects I've been involved in in the past. Um, it's, a, it's just great to be playing with a, a really good and, uh, <laughs> except for him, he's playing. and uh Except for him, this clown. And that wasn't over there, but <laughs> in a general general consensus, it's. Um, it's a tight unit and I'm really stoked to be a part of it. It's, um, it's very melodic and I've come from a, a bit of a heavier background in music, but I've uh, brought it in my, um, my taste and it's been great, yeah. Alright, so Helm Helm looks like a happy family on the way on the way up. Familia. Familia. Bellissimo. So Scotty, you played in your hometown Narrabri. I heard the whole town turned out to this event. How was it, mate, and were you buzzing? 
I was overwhelmed though. I was really stoked. I was a bit dubious on going out there when the, when Lucas hit me up to do a little bush bash, but <laughs> mate, no, I was really stoked going. I think the boys are pretty happy with the show too. Sick. Yeah, yeah, real good boys. Good town. Heaps really of the people it, to come. Mate, yeah. mate, Scotty got real drunk and kind of could have stayed there for another moment. <laughs> <laughs> Felt pretty at home, mate. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> so, Maddie, if you're in the engine room of the band, mate, so what uh, what equipment, what drum kit is you running with? Well, uh, I've got a Yamaha kit. Yeah. Uh, I love it. I've got uh, put on a Yamaha drum by uh, a mate who played them for years. Always want to, you know, try something different, and you know they're not the sort of usual Tama Pearl um, brand name. They are left the center, and they're a great rock and chip. So Yamaha Oak Custom. Okay. Yeah, it's just a basic, basic setup, but um, drums sound great. Yeah, cool. Yeah. You haven't got any effects hidden, hidden behind anything? Or no, just, mate. Just, just, no, just, just the way just, you hit it. Just big deep toms. Yeah, right, nice right. big kick drum. Our sound guy, he's Michael. He's awesome, mate. Eh? He pulls great sounds for us, so yeah. you know, the kit sounds good, but he does his job down, okay. down the front there and you know, it gets a good sound for us. Makes it all sound helmish. Yeah, yeah, we try and stick to the same drum sound you know, for most shows. We've got that, that big sound. I have to, these guys, you know, like three guitars going in a bass, you know, I need well, something. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, I need it's something to fill it up, you know. You need your own stage. <laughs> yeah. like <laughs> well, we can't yeah. wait to see you on the stage tonight. Anyway, mate, we'll be watching. I'm sure we'll have something, something we can show the show the guys at home of what Maddie's all about. Four on the floor. Four on the floor. <laughs> and just one last question to Ryan, Ryan Tucheski, Riser, as they call him. How's uh, how's your little entrance to the band going, mate? You've been slapping the bass around a bit. No slapping this band, mate. No slapping. <laughs> <slapping. laughs> Lucas tries to get me playing the guitar pick, but I'm, <laughs> I'm true to my colours, so... True to, your, yeah, true to the hooks? Yeah, true to my hooks. As I can say, like, yeah, no, it's good. I'm enjoying it. He's been asked to leave before when you start slapping. Yeah, okay. I get kicked out of the band room, so <laughs> stop doing that. Oh, awesome. Well, it's good to have, it's good to have you all a part of uh, Flick to Play's channel, Metal to Play. And yeah. um, let's see these guys go all the way. Hi, I'm Timmy Ricard, and I'm here with the boys from Helm. You're watching. <laughs>